Yeah, I mean, like you said, it is obviously a disappointing result. Um, one, because we don't like losing in general, but two, there's always pride attached to a derby match. Um, but in saying that, despite the result, there there were so many positives that we can take from that. And, you know, it was, it was still a close game and possession-wise we did really well and obviously statistics don't win the match but um, we do take that into the games moving forward and in particular tomorrow against Adelaide um, we know that we we are a good possession team and when we press well we have success so I think now it's just about making sure that we we stick to what we are really good at stick to our game plan and you know we, we want a big three points tomorrow to bounce back from last weekend. I think it's hard to pinpoint exactly what it came down to, but you know we, we know that we did have a 15 minute lapse in the game and that's something that we have reflected upon and we know that we have to correct moving forward because the reality is that that lapse did cost us the game. Um, and like you said, leading into that period, we, we were on top and we had some really good chances on goal as well. So I think two big things that we are taking from the game is that we have to, we have to play out the full 90 and we can't afford to let teams in for those periods because you know when it is into the second half and at the 60 minute mark it is once you do lapse it's very difficult to come back out of it and I mean we did come out of it and I think the last five minutes showed that we still had more left in the tank and I think we were threatening and it, we were close to scoring in the last few minutes of the game so it was disappointing that we, we did allow that to happen, but in saying that, it's, it's something that we can learn from and we know moving forward we have to correct that. The mood's really positive and the, the biggest reason why it's like that is because we know that we, we still played really well on the weekend and, you know, there's losing can go two ways. You lose and it's disappointing because you know you could have done more and obviously we do still know we could have done more but we also gave it a red hot crack and you know it was up against the reigning champions and they're they're in good form as well they've signed some good players so if you know if that's the bar we're we're right up there with it so we we know that we're we're you know in a good position moving into the game this weekend and we're also looking forward to coming back up against victory again the following week so there's no reason why um we need to let the mood drop over one loss. We, you know, it's like you said, one win, one loss, and there's no reason why we can't bounce back with another win tomorrow. Um, to be honest, it's it's always hard to say after only a couple of rounds, but. I think, you know, the reality is it is there are going to be unpredictable games. I think it's going to be a tight, you know, again, it will be tight for finals because I think there are, whilst there are a couple of teams that, you know, are the standouts at the moment, I do think that across the board that there is more consistency amongst the teams. And um, obviously some, again, with a lot of youth, might struggle to find their feet early, but it will come strong late. So I think it is still really hard to predict how, the league will turn out going as it progresses. But um, I know based on the last two games that we've had, the competition's been really strong. The Canberra game was a strong and competitive game as well. So for us, we're, you know, we're just focusing on what is in our control and taking it game by game at the moment. It's always a hard game against Adelaide. And I, I know that obviously for two reasons. One, being an ex-Adelaide player and two, from playing against them numerous times. They're, you know, they're, they're tough competitors and they go into every game believing they can win every match. And, you know, they, sorry, one second, I'll wait until the lawnmower goes past. <laughs> it's a bit loud. Um, yeah, we're, we're expecting them to come out strong. And obviously, like us, we're, we're confident after having one win. And so they're going to be the same. You know, they, they had a tough round one. And I, to be fair on them, I don't think the result was an accurate reflection on their first round game. Um, obviously, victory were really dominant. But, 
you know, it was a it was a harsh result, but they showed a lot of character because they came out and got the job done in basically the dying minutes of the game last weekend. So, yeah, it'll it'll be a big battle. But in saying that, we're we're looking forward to having the game at Amy Park, and we know that we can put on a good performance. Oh, look, I mean, Amy Park in terms of surface is perfect. And for me, I, you know, there's a different hype when you go into a game playing at a stadium like that. And I think it is really special. And while obviously, like you said, there's a trade-off sometimes with the atmosphere um, and it can be hard when you're in such a big stadium to, you know, to get the noise up and to hear the crowd and really feel the crowd when you're on the field. But I think, you know, there are massive benefits still to playing in facilities like that. And I know for us, it's something that we really look forward to. And yeah, so I think it, it is a massive positive still regardless. And the fact that we were able to get a standalone at Amy Park is a massive step in the right direction with where women's football is heading. So I think it was really positive. Yeah, definitely. I think it does work in our favour. And I think another big benefit of fields like Amy Park is they are so big. And sometimes, you know, the community fields that we play on aren't, aren't quite as big and it can be difficult for teams coming to adjust to that, that size. And I mean, even for us, it sometimes takes a couple of rounds to get used to the, the size of the field. But like I said, I think it, it does still have a home advantage to us and we, do, we really look forward to playing at that, on that surface.